Hello students. Let's start our class. Today we are going to discuss a new chapter from your geography. The name of the chapter is Physical Features of India. You have already learned earlier that India is a vast country with varied landforms. What kind of terrain do you live in? If you live in the plains, you are familiar with the vast stretches of plain. In contrast, if you live in hilly region, the rugged terrain with mountains and valleys are common features. In fact, our country has practically all major physical features of the earth, that is mountains, plains, deserts, plateaus and islands. You must be wondering how these physical features have been formed. The students will learn more about major physical features of India and how they have been formed. The students we find different types of rocks. Some are very hard like marble, which has been used for making the Tasmal, and some are very soft like soap stone, which is used in making talcum powders. The color of soil varies from one place to the other because Soil is formed out of different types of rocks. Have you ever thought about the causes of these variations? Most of these variations are caused due to differences in rock formations. Dear students, India is a large landmass formed during different geological periods which has influenced her relief. Besides geological formations, a number of processes, churches, weathering, erosion and deposition have created and modified the relief to its present form. Theory of Flat Tectonics our scientists have attempted to explain the formation of physical features with the help of some theories based on certain evidences. One such plausible theory is the theory of plot tectonics. According to this theory, the crust that is upper part of the earth has been formed out of seven major and seven minor plates. Dear students, the movement of these plates results in the building up of stretches within the plates and the continental rocks above, leading to folding, faulting and volcanic activity. Broadly, these flats movements are classified into three types while some plates come towards each other and form convergent boundary. Some plates move away from each other and form divergent boundary. In the event of two plates coming together, they may either collide and crumble or one may slide under the other. At times, they may also move horizontally past each other and form the transform boundary. The movement of these plates have changed the position and size of the continents over millions of years. Church Movements have also influenced the evolution of the present landform features of India. 
Dear students, let's recap of the portion. India is a vast country with varied landforms, different types of rocks, different geographical periods, theory of flat tectonics. Thank you. Have a nice day.